Hello, beautiful souls. How y'all doing? Welcome to Brainy Twin Gemini. If you're new, welcome. We'd love so much for you to be part of our soul tribe and our loving vibe. If you're a returning sub, thank you so much for all your love, your likes, your comments, the sense of community on our channel. It truly warms my heart from the bottom of my heart, and I appreciate your trust also very, very much. A little bit, a bit about me. I channel energy in a journal. I strictly flip the cards out of my own entertainment purposes. The cards always seem to resonate with the energy in my journal and it's just magical and beautiful. I'm merely just a messenger on this journey to spread unconditional love and forgiveness and give you messages as they are delivered um, to me. I'm given signs, sinks, all sorts of beautiful messages each and every day. And I believe these beautiful messages are for your beautiful souls. I am to a twin in reunion with my twin after going through a physical separation here on our earth. So first of all, um, I didn't leave you. I had a little incident where my phone took a swim and I was trying to dry it out to no avail. So I have a new phone. So hopefully this new phone is a better experience than my old phone. I was running a contest. I'm still running a giveaway. So if you're new, just hit the subscribe, comment and like. If you're existing, just comment and like for a free four card message of any of the spreads that I do in my daily videos. So the winners of the first two winners of the four card message is Marilyn Lavalle and Daniela Miss Grateful. So I'll put your names in the comment section and in the description. So just we'll figure out a time it likely in the new year and I will give you a beautiful four card message out of any of these. So what I do is I go through my journal first for a few things and then as I said just strictly flip the cards out of my own entertainment purposes and I'm going to get started here. So a lot's been going on, um, more so in the last, uh, I'm going to say 48 hours. It's just, it's just been crazy, crazy, crazy. So I want to go over those um, beautiful signs and sinks. And what I did see in um, the, the last 24 hours, which nature's been relatively quiet, but I did see a beautiful blue jay, a crow, and a hawk. And a hawk was just hovering so close to, to the house, and it was just like flying, and it was just beautiful, and it was so low. And um, the hawk is very significant to me personally because when I was in physical separation, I honestly never seen one in my entire life. And there was one sitting perched on my back tree. And it's very significant to my beloved as well. So beautiful. They represent spiritual wisdom, knowledge, knowledge and awareness, past life. Um, just a beautiful thing. They made for life, actually. And there's so much going on. So seen 1111 I just literally saw it before I came in here um, to do this message 555 and uh, I feel like you're very connected in at the fifth dimension your energy you can feel each other's energy very very powerfully the law of attraction or the power of manifested manifestation is fierce and it's beautiful so whatever you're putting out there it's coming back so just make sure that whatever you're putting out there is it beautiful loving unconditional love and forgiveness i have spiritual awareness here i have change transformation you're getting clear messages and faith i have clarity i have um there's some curiousness going on and communication so i feel like maybe two of you are curious and you're kind of wondering what each other's up to and that's it's just very very high in the um energy field right now Again, so much more, um, but I just, I do uh, leave it out for my own entertainment purposes. I do what's in the masculine's heart space as of the moment. If they could say anything, what would it be? And the overall energy of this beautiful love connection. And again, what resonates, resonates. What doesn't, doesn't. Not everything will resonate. So just pack away what doesn't resonate in um, your pocket. So, and I feel like there's still this karmic interference and they're like, um, I don't know, they're, they're going to like, no, not like through all these stops and they're just trying to interfere and uh, yeah, they're just, that nothing can interfere with the love that you have in your heart. 
So what's in the masculine's heart space as of the moment? It's always as of the moment. So again, if you want, I cannot believe this. If you want um, to be entered into that four card message, and here's all three, so I'll take them. I, I cannot believe this. I can't believe I didn't say courage. Um, <laughs> I, I, I swear I do it out of my own entertainment purposes. Um, so this is a beautiful message. It's all very, very beautiful. We'll go over each one. Intuition. Intuition is absolutely amplified. The hawk to me and the crow um, are very, very significant because it is about um, spiritual awareness and all of this knowledge and intuition. And I feel like you all have gifts of intuition. We all do. But when you come into each other, you, it's it's amplified. It's on steroids. It's whatever. Like you, you, you know, you you you're, you've been given a very very special gift of intuition, and um, the, the masculine energy's intuition is going through the roof right now, and it, it, as a result of this intuition, they're um, building the courage. You know, this is I I. There's no right or wrong journey, and I I always say that we all have a different um, blueprint, a different genetic makeup, and again, there's people out there <laughs> um, taking whatever they want from me as long as they give me credit for it, but as a result of this intuition, it's giving them the courage to overcome this regret that they have, they're plagued with, this regret. It's one of the things with the masculine energy, the regret. So what happens is if you have the beauty and the blessing of coming to, together in the, our earth, in physical um, embodiment, uh, one twin and it's, it's energy. So don't get caught in that, that trap, that spiritual trap of, well, I'm a, of a male anatomy. So that must mean I'm a masculine energy. Not, it's not, it's whoever runs um, usually is that masculine energy and, and they're they're deeply regretful um, for this running um, there's they, they cannot shake the feminine energy no matter how hard they try they may go into the arms of someone else but they always have this regret in their heart but they have the courage to overcome that because the spiritual wisdom and awareness is coming to them and this is one of the blocks one of the big blocks is this regret and there's always always that fear of rejection. And lastly, miracle. This card keeps coming out. Like, like n nothing is a coincidence in life. And you realize that when you come together and you awaken each other up. This this is a miracle. This this connection is a miracle. And you are each other's miracle. But what I resonate more with this card, why does it keep coming out? Because miracles are brewing in the, and manifesting in the universe. Miracles for some of you that are in the physical separation stage. So what you don't know is there's all of this stuff that goes on in the universe that you physically can't see. And it's the law of attraction and manifestation. And the, the, the twin flame dynamic right now, the law of attraction is very, very, very fierce and very powerful. And as a result of your faith um, in, in all of this, it's bringing you closer together, even though you don't realize and you don't see it. You can, you'll can, you know if you're going to come to each other. You have this blissfulness. You have this peacefulness. You have this push and pull energy. And you just, it's, it's beautiful. And I love it so much. So I'm going to put those back in for the feminine energy. And if the masculine could say anything, to the feminine what would it be and again always in the moment even when i do your messages um for you i will never ever speak of the future i don't i i, I don't feel um that should be messed with okay, that's your path it's preordained and sometimes if there's somebody that comes in and i don't know i just i don't i don't believe in any of that stuff i really don't um, I guess I, if you're if you're not a, a new viewer and you're an existing viewer, you know I've shared this story many times. How I went to see what they call a psychic, which again I I would more like to be called people like that, visionaries. 
um, and she told me so many terrible things and it changed the way I walked my path and my journey of life and I wish I never went there um, because I was manifesting certain things into the universe and it was a it was a result of her and and yeah and just to give you an inclination she just never even met this beautiful soul this love of my life saying that he was not the person for me it's like excuse me you don't know how I feel in my heart like you have no idea as a result of her I was putting that doubt and all of this stuff into the universe so please 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 be careful who you listen to there's only one force that knows our future in this in this universe and I think you all know what that force is so be careful um, I wish you were next to me I miss you absolutely for some of you that you know um, have the Christian faith and we we just came over Christmas and all of that it's it's a very very tough time of the year for some people um, and the masculine energy is missing you and they're thinking of you constantly um, just because you're not in physical embodiment you are always together energetically and they miss you terribly and I can't believe this because I specifically have this written down and circled I hear and feel you telepathically and I said that at the beginning you're very strongly connected in the 5d right now savor it love it hang on to it this is a journey of so much Unconditional love is one of one of those beautiful things that you trigger within each other and it's a it's a unconditional love is at the soul level and I firmly believe and again these are just my beliefs take what resonates throw away what does not you've been given such a gift and a miracle to unravel that gift of unconditional love and this unconditional love is at the soul level and I feel like no well, we're, we're here on a mission on this earth to spread that love and get rid of some of the darkness in the world we're meant to shed the light so they can hear and feel you and it's beautiful I'm peeling away the layers of my false self that's that that's that awareness that spiritual awareness just awareness of oneself and they're just getting rid of those layers and one of those layers is that definitely that that regret and let go of the negative thoughts I feel the energy so some of you may be manifesting as I said earlier the law of attraction manifestation I can hear and feel you telepathically so if some of you have negative thoughts the, the masculine energy can absolutely hear and feel those negative thoughts just know it's natural um, I went through major bouts of like just negative negativity and just saying I'm done I'm done I'm finished I can't do this to myself anymore it's too much and then I eventually just broke free and just lived the best version of me so that's masculine energy I'm gonna put these cards back now I'm gonna do feminine energy what's in the feminine energy's heart space I feel like a lot of changes are are, are brewing on the horizon um, many of you are undergoing a huge transformation and you're making a commitment to yourself and your self-love and it's beautiful um, so I'm gonna ask for four cards please and if I didn't say this earlier I do four because it's my birth number I can't believe this okay so this is overall energy for beautiful and now it's for two cards please okay awesome 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 so uh, for many of you you are in physical separation I specifically picked these cards it took me hours and hours and hours to pick them um, and you're linked and there's this energy this 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 is lit up and, then and the way I resonate it is with energy you're always together telepathically energetically and the separation is I don't know I want to say crucifying I like that, that I, I, I've been through it I know how much it hurts you, you have this most beautiful love of a lifetime and then 
you know, the dynamics of the journey is you separate and it sucks, man. Um, but it's merely just an illusion and you're always together. So let go of that attachment. An attachment. Maybe there is, that's what you're manifesting and you don't realize it. I realized that I did a 360. Um, I was always manifesting the separation, not purposefully. Like I wasn't, but I was more, I was focusing on it and I was talking about it. And then I realized the more I was focusing, the more I was inviting that into my life. So then I started manifesting physical touch. And I think it was months after we were physically touching. So be careful of that spiritual trap too. Um, the karmic partner. Two things here with this karmic partner. As I said earlier, there's someone that um, is trying. They're going like to the ends of the earth to, to try and interfere with the love that you share. With each of you share. And this karmic partner is vindictive and manipulative. And they're, they're, like I said, they're trying to do everything that they can to interfere. The masculine, many of them have just walked away from this karmic partner. Um, they realize that they're there, there to teach them a lesson and they've learned their lesson and they've moved on. And this is for someone, and I don't know these messages come to me right when I'm usually holding the card. Um, there is, like I said, there's some karmic interference. It could be a job. It could be many of things, but I feel like for you, some of you feminine energy, and I don't know who this message is for, is you of your own karmic partner and you're not learning your lessons with that karmic partner and you're in a very toxic relationship. So maybe it's time just to undergo that transformation Complacency sometimes is comfortable, but it's not always healthy. And it takes courage to walk away from an unhealthy, complacent relationship. I know because I was there for 24 years and it's just like, it's just not working. It's like, see you later. Bye. And we had a house and everything and it was just, I didn't care. I'm like, no, this isn't serving my soul anymore. I actually met my twin after my marriage ended. So, but it was just time, you know? So just, you know, there's some codependency there. And maybe that is your block. So, um, awakening. You're absolutely awakening feminine energy. You awaken more quickly than the masculine energy does. I think it may be because of that heart chakra opening. I'm not sure. I don't know all the dynamics of the journey. I do believe that you awaken at an accelerated rate and it is a, like it is an evolving, um, I want to say event in your journey. So you don't just magically awaken and say, okay, I'm awake and I'm done. Like it's an it's evolving for the course of your journey of life. And it, it, you always are awakening and your spiritual awareness and your awakening is bringing you much knowledge, but it's bringing you valuable messages. And some I feel have gone back to sleep. Um, and this is a result of some of this karmic interference. And that's what happens when you get to this low vibration, you go back to sleep. So that awakening process is no longer there and you lose your gifts of intuition. This is a gift a blessing and a miracle. So try and ground some of that energy, get out of the low vibration, do what's good for you. Epsom salt bath, meditation, hug a tree, get out to nature and breathe. And some of you need some rest. Um, you've been burning the, the candle at both ends. You're not sleeping. You have insomnia. You're constantly thinking of your twin and it's not healthy. Just manifest physical touch. I have oodles of meditation videos. Listen to them and just free your mind and open your heart and let the heart navigate your journey instead of the nemesis of your mind. So that's what's going on with feminine. 
And I'm going to put those back in. And if the feminine could say anything to the masculine energy, what would it be? And I wanted to say this earlier, and I'm going to say it now. In the new year, in 2023, I too am changing and transforming. Always. We're always um, in a transformation process. And I'm going to be um, opening up my channel to more um, love readings. Twin, obviously, flames will always be f to the forefront of everything that I do. But there's so many other people on this earth that um, need guidance with love in general so i will have a specific playlist for that so i just want to let you know that it um i will be doing other sorts of healing work so that just came to me so i have to do it but i will put you are my family and i will always be i cannot believe this you will always be at the forefront of everything that i do I'm just expanding the unconditional love. I cannot. <laughs> okay. Aww. Okay, so this is um, feminine energy. Um, you balance my heart chakra. I resonate that totally with that awakening card in the heart chakra. You balance each other's heart chakra and you do it simultaneously and you don't even know it. And it's beautiful. And this is tough. Let go of negative thoughts. I feel the energy. So the masculine energy had this message for the feminine energy as well. And it's not like there's so many cards. I shuffle them. I do whatever. So maybe this is this strong 5D energy is that there's some negativity. I don't feel you. It's usually the interference, honestly, that causes um, twins to be negative so they're in a low vibration and they got this negative energy because we're all empathetic and we're all highly susceptible to negative energy so you're like a sponge and you take that energy on and then once you get that low vibration in there you've got that negative energy and then you transfer that energy back and forth um, so uh, I feel maybe there is some negative energy but it is more than likely with this this person that, that's reluctant just to let go. Um, let me into your world. Don't close me out. So if some of you are feeling closed out. And that could be just because of this karmic interference. It's always there. It's not going to go away. Where even even if it was even if it's a partner, you you, you go down your journey and you you know then there's some other interference. It's how you deal with that interference. Do you deal with it with love in your heart or do you deal with it with the noise of your mind? And I think sometimes we are presented these things to see because we were given a gift of unconditional love. And if you're getting, you know, certain things along your journey, how are you dealing with that? So, and it's difficult for me too. Absolutely difficult. It's difficult for both Believe it or not, it's not just one-sided. You go through your own set of, um, I want to say trials and tribulations. They're different, but it's masculine and feminine energy. And you change energy throughout the course of your journey. And you have to stabilize certain parts of that energy. That's what this is about. It's about a lot more. Of This is overall energy, so I'm going to call for four cards. It's beautiful. Overall energy. If it's three, I'll take it. It is. And I can't believe this. Like, I, you, you hear me shuffle it. I cannot believe how this stuff is coming out today. Very important. Very, very important message. So let's do this, okay? Um... We've got passion and we've got true love. You both have a passion for each other. You both have a love in your heart that is unshakable. And it's honestly, you can't sever it. 
you know, I know that, uh, I don't know how I stumble across this stuff, but it, I don't even know. I guess it, it's presented to me when it's meant to be presented to me, um, about severing the cord. Um, no. <laughs> this is all divinely orchestrated, and if the cord is meant to be severed, only one entity can do that. And I think you know what that is, so there's so much passion. This is true love. It is truly the love that you are deserving of. And lastly, I have this again, separation. And it's merely just an illusion. You are always together. I, you know, I, and I, I feel like this is coming out again for a reason. So just love and manifest physical touch and watch the magic occur. You, there's so much power in the law of attraction. You know, it's beautiful, and this karmic partner is trying to interfere in this connection so badly. And the only thing is if you allow that interference in. Because if you allow the interference, then the karmic partner is winning, right? So they, they, they want to interfere, but there's nothing that can interfere with the love that you share. Nothing. There's no interference unless you allow that interference and th that low vibration in. And the moment you invite that low vibration in is the moment you get into a low vibration yourself, if that makes any sense. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to give you some other different beautiful cards to take. Overall connection. I just love these ones um, so much. And... We're gonna get asked for four cards. Actually, no, I wanna. Someone's telling me to shuffle them a little bit more. <laughs> um, so, overall energy. Thank you. I cannot believe this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just don't know how it works like that. Like, I put it in my journal, I read it, and then the cards come out. It's too much. It's, it's like my own amazement here. I cannot believe this. <laughs> I'm sorry, because um, there's certain things I leave out. I just, I, uh, I just do. <laughs> okay, um, so I have this, the crown chakra. The seventh chakra is Archangel Uriel, and it is at the, at the top of the head. It governs um, the upper brain, and when developed, it brings knowledge, wisdom, understanding, spiritual connectedness, and bliss. So this all resonates with the crow, the hawk, the spiritual awareness that I was talking about in my journal. It, it just You're coming into that blissful state of awe, and when you get there, it's a beautiful place to be. So, excellent. Um, I, I resonate this. Totally this envy, this number 20. Um, that, that other one was 41, if that means anything. With this karmic partner card. So, um, they're definitely, definitely envious. They're, you know, in, in it, envy is not a very good... Um, I guess it's, it's very ego-based. And this... Karmic partner has zero inclination. Um, they're completely asleep, and they are, like I said, they're going through all these, all of these hoops to try and get to you. And it's mostly because of the envy, because of the love that you share. And just know that this person, or whatever it may be, will not interfere with the love in your heart unless you let it to the world. Number twenty-nine. Um, Right now, I resonate the world as like third dimensional world. We live in the third dimensional world. And some, again, what resonates, resonates. What doesn't, doesn't, is the world is bringing you down in the 3D. And that's low vibration and negativity. It's nothing that, what you need to understand is it's nothing that you and your twin do purposefully. It's getting in this low vibration. And unfortunately... The world is sometimes in a low vibration. We're meant to raise that vibration. I absolutely have this written down. The door to value. Financial abundance is here. And I have it written. It's it's There's abundance and then there's financial abundance. 
and to have a gratitude in your heart and just manifest the law of attraction is so so powerful right now um financial abundance is here for many of you and it's beautiful and i love it so much um and the, the door to value so to, sometimes the door to value isn't always the riches uh, uh symbol money the door to value is the value of your health the value of the love that you share so sometimes you got to see beyond the veil of that as well so beautiful beautiful messages today um There is a, like I said, there's a little bit, go there's a lot going on that's good, like the spiritual awareness and the bliss and, and all of that. Um, but with the good, there sometimes comes about, but it's nothing that you either one of um, you are doing. It's something that someone's trying to do, but it's not working. It will never. They came to each other for a purpose, right? Um, and lastly, this beautiful message for your beautiful, loving souls is... Your smile illuminates my soul. It makes me feel whole. There is no part of me that your love cannot fulfill. At the first moment we met, I am forever grateful. And I count my blessed blessings each day, beloved Jewel. And that's exactly it. It is a blessing. And there is, it's, you make each other feel whole. You know? So, trust, have faith, manifest, physical touch. And just love unconditionally. And you'll see where that magic leads you. So that's all I have for you today, folks. Again, thank you all so much for your trust. It really, truly does mean the world to me. If any of this resonates, kindly hit the notification bell. Thumbs up. Comment. We love to hear your comments. Have a beautiful day.